2022 CRF 250F won't bore you to tears because there's heaps of videos out there with more mundane stuff that I need to you need to know you already know it or you're gonna look so I'll just keep it simple this is just an upgrade update with mods what we've done to it um, so we'll start with suspension we've spent 400 Australian dollars which would be oh, I don't know 300 bucks American 300 US maybe tops um, revalved upper spring rate rear shocks been reworked revalved original shock original forks they're um, working great front um, huge difference really big difference if people say you can't do anything with these with the suspension they're wrong mate that's the best money you can spend straight off the straight out of the box do your suspension yeah that front's really planted now like it's not bouncing like a pogo stick it's awesome it's staying up high in the stroke um, really good money well spent bar risers what did I say 25 mil bar risers and they're forward about 10 mil see that um, that gives you a better opens up the cockpit for you higher you know the bars are higher and a little bit forward because you feel a bit cramped so that's a big difference those are pro tapers but with a rental bar pad get rid of the original uh, grips they're like sandpaper they're nice soft pretty sure they're uh, pro taper softs really good the yeah the originals are horrible cut them off throw them in the bin no good that bash plate is metal <laughs> And that has got CRF written on it. And that came straight out of the box from the shop. I don't know whether it's factory or um, aftermarket. Not 100%, but yeah, that's amazing. Great, great bash plate, that. Foot pegs. Get rid of the little push bike foot pegs that are on it. They're terrible. Those are off a of CRF 230. CRF 230s go straight onto these so there's a heap of pegs aftermarket pegs out there for a crf 230 get those big difference way better standing and everything like the the originals are horrible so yeah wide pegs get them let's just put it out there black rims we uh changed xl rims went to the 2.15 in the rear we've got michelin's front and rear went to a 110 on the rear 110 100 18 just a little bit wider better than the 100 way better than 100 actually um and i actually i have a moose in that like yeah way way better so much better traction you're not gonna get a flatty end of story it's got a uh 20 area filter in it from the original the elephant in the room the yoshimura wow that's yeah amazing beautiful pipe looks great sounds great has just given it more throttle response right through it's it's really good some full system right from the header right back it is fantastic um yeah uh it's just yeah can't say anything what do, what do you say about a yoshi Ugh, nothing like seriously it is the shit and it, look at it look at it i mean it just looks a million bucks, doesn't it? Like, look at that. What more can you say? Hello. Just, yeah, get them before they run out. Someone said they're not making them anymore or they're, they're coming to an end. So if you can, get one. But it sounds awesome. Let me just show you. Turn that on. There we go. It's got a beautiful note to it. It's not loud. It's not obnoxious. to say about that really super sprocks i think i went to a 51 from a 50 just to get yeah, 51 just went up a tooth on the rear just to give me a little bit 
better in the bush on the single trails uh, it's not a huge difference but you know first second gear stuff if you're really going up some real steep stuff it's really good put a bit of chain on it so it should never stretch because what are these pumping out 23 horsepower i don't know it's just it's it, the tires last the chains and sprockets last the motor's gonna last the whole thing's gonna last forever i ride a husfana te 300 and this is my play bike this is so much fun so you know anyone from a learner to experienced riders you'll have a blast on this thing you know it's just so much fun the fun factor f f for fun i mean that's it Sycra pro bend hand guards really good they look good once again color coded i like you know you can get you can get extra bits you get the plastic bits you get these easily um so yeah basically it's suspension pipe we're always told right from day one do your suspension and we go yeah 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 and we just ride them but when you get it done you go my god why don't I do that in the first place so yeah that's that's the number one and and it's not it's not expensive you know 400 bucks 300 us i guess somewhere around there that's i don't think that's much you know if it's gonna change your uh your riding it's it's yeah way better way better so yeah all right tell us what you think guys tell us what you think she's uh coming along nicely i can't think of too much more to do to it at this stage but any more updates will uh keep you informed so yeah we'll go for a ride now all right let's take let's go it up there doesn't it
Well, straight away, that suspension <coughs> is certainly working better, that's for sure. Or well, hey, better, just soaking stuff up, you hit those jumps, and it's, uh, it's not bouncing like a pogo stick. That's, that's money well spent. Suspension, tech. Tick. Sounds good. It's got a bit more snap. Close. <laughs> that was, that was. I was meant to do that. That that sudden. Uh, <laughs> that was, that was, that was planned all the time. <laughs> yeah. 